अग्रिकल्चर वॉट इज अग्रिकल्चर अग्रिकल्चर इज अ वर्ड विच इज डिराइव फ्रॉम ए लैटिन लैंग्वेज दट इज हेगेर और अग्री एंड कल्चर सो अग्री मीन्स हियर सॉइल एंड कल्चर मीन्स कल्टिवेशन so according to the latin language the word agar culture means soil cultivation in our chapter we will be discussing what is agriculture in which category of the sectors does agriculture fall into in order to make a plant to grow and reach to the full useful resource it has to pass through various sectors so when we plant a plant when we plant a sibling that has to grow that has to produce something that has to be collected and then that has to be distributed in the market and then sold in the market for all these things it has to cross through different sectors like primary secondary third one tertiary sector or service sector in the primary sector the basic things like quarrying farming cultivation uh, then quarrying of the stones drilling of the oil all these things mining come under primary activities where the basic activity of anything starts let it take the raw materials used or taking the raw materials into the purpose so all these things come under the primary sector so once the activities are done in the primary sector then you get a product which is not in a complete form it has to be modified it has to be made so when we get the raw iron that has to be made into the shape which we need for this we need a factory we need a manufacturing unit these manufacturing units come under the category of the secondary sector so now from primary after producing something you get it manufacture in the manufacturing unit so everything is been finalized and now it has to be sold so in order to transport the product from the crop region to the factory point from the factory point to the outlet point from the outlet point to the nearest stores so everything we need transportation we need the trade we need the business contacts between them so all these things are actually coming under service sector or the tertiary sector hospitality business banking everything comes under the service sector service sector is nothing but acting as a link between the primary and the secondary sector it supports the primary and the secondary sector to give its full potential this support given to the primary and secondary sector is known as service sector so like this we have three important sectors a plant to grow it to into a full useful resource it needs to pass through certain stages those are the primary secondary and the tertiary sector so in this chapter now we will be discussing how did agriculture fall into the primary sector what is the role of the agriculture we will be finding out now agriculture agriculture in the entire world there are nearly 50% of people depending on agriculture agriculture comes under the category of primary sector where the basic work will be started so now moving on to understand how this agriculture plays an important role in india because in india we have nearly 2/3 
of people depending on agriculture nearly 70% of people depend on agriculture these 70% of people are depending on the primary sector when we talk about the primary sector we need to remember that here in the primary sector the people those who are depending on this sector are having highly unstable income the income which is not guaranteed for them why do we say that the income in the primary sector is not guaranteed because in the agricultural sector agriculture truly depends on the climate of a place and the land india has a very vast availability of land but when it comes to the availability of water 50% of indian farmers even today depend on agriculture the rain water so rain water is a main source for them to start their crops growing to start the crop season now as the time passed on the monsoon started to play a very vital role on the lives of the farmers we generally see farmers committing suicides when there is no proper monsoon rainfall occurring in the month of june that results in the failure of the crops or delay in the crop season which ultimately forces the farmers to commit suicide so here if the rains come in time and it creates a good reap the crop will give more benefit for us but if the rains are not proper they could not get you good results the crop was not ripen up properly you don't get any income so you will be in loss so the investment what you kept on the soil will becomes waste that is the reason why many of the farmers commit suicide so that's why we are saying that the agriculture as it falls in the primary sector it is having very unstable nature the income is not at all guaranteed in this primary sector especially agriculture which we have seen in our country from the past 6 decades now moving on further agriculture needs the support of land and what so these two combinedly we can call climate and topography the climate and the topography of a region should support the farmers to do the agriculture the fertility of the soil should be good the availability of the water should be there then only you can do good agriculture so the conditions which are favoring a farmer or the land to do cultivation is called arable land the land which supports to do agriculture is known as arable land the spelling is a r a b l e arable land which do not support the agriculture are known as waste lands